Hi everyone, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. My project this month is Level Up and I'm going to be using the Grow With Love album kit. So when you order this, it comes in this bag and it comes with 12 by 12 collection pack. The Grow With Love sticker sheet. Grow With Love chipboard tags and frames. If you ordered yours in time, it'll come with a little button. It also comes with the two-in-one tunnel and pyramid album. The ivory gold and champagne washi tape. Artist trading tags. And instructions. I also ordered the patterns and solids to go with it. The Grow With Love ephemera assortment. And the Grow With Love rub on transfer set. So first off, you're going to open up your pyramid album kit and you're going to grab the three longest ones that have double score marks and on the smallest one you're going to write four back and five on the middle sized one you're going to write the back of three and page six the back of page two and page seven then you're going to set these aside for your pyramid album since we're making the tunnel album inside there are directions this one's for the pyramid and this one's for the tunnel so you're going to take one solid and this solid's going to be for the pyramid so you just have one solid and the rest of all your squares now you're going to carefully punch out the middle. Where it has the little nubs that connected the inner piece to the outer piece, you can just take a little file and file them off. So I'm going to do that with all of my pieces. And you want to make sure to save all of your inner pieces for a pyramid album. So you should have seven pieces of chipboard. So next you're going to grab your pattern paper and you're going to find Bright Beautiful Bay, Garden Club, and Friends and Flowers. And you're also going to grab your Grow With Love cover page. The other three we grabbed, we're going to use for fussy cutting. Okay, then you're gonna grab the Grow With Love paper and you're gonna cut a half inch. You're gonna cut off the top and cut a half inch around all the edges. And you're gonna trim these down to eight inches. Then you're going to fussy cut out the little boot image. You're going to grab your 
largest hole chipboard. You're going to grab your ephemera assortment. And I chose these two little butterflies. Then I'm going to grab a piece of acetate. And I'm just going to cut about two eighths strip. I'm going to grab some double-sided tape and put a little here in the corners. Removing the backing. I'm just going to place this right on top. And go and clear across my book. Like that. So then I'm going to take my little butterflies. Oops. I'm going to place one butterfly underneath the acetate. I'm going to put a little glue on the edges of my butterfly. Just on two of the edges. And I'm going to center it over my other butterfly and glue down the edges. So that makes my butterfly able to move. So next I'm going to glue my sides on. Now it looks like that. Then I'm going to grab Blooming Beauty and I cut out an eight by eight square. Take my next chipboard page that has the, the second biggest hole. I'm going to center this on and trace it on. Trace the hole on, and I'm going to trim that out. So next you're going to grab your chipboard page. I decided I want to add a piece of acetate to it. So I'm just going to trim that down. I'm going to add double sided tape. And just place your acetate right on top. Then just add more double sided tape right over your edges. And 
grab your piece of pattern paper, evenly center it on your chipboard page. So next you're going to grab your sticker sheets. You're going to grab this chair sticker. You're going to place it over here on this side. Then you're going to place this Hello Beautiful. You want to put this one right on the top. I'm going to be using this sticker. I'm not going to quite put it all the way to the top. So then I'm going to grab my rub on transfers and I'm going to cut this one out. this one right here all right so now that I've added my butterfly I'm gonna grab my first chipboard page I'm going to apply glue to the back then I'm going to add my first chipboard page right on top of this one. Making sure it's all even. Next, I'm going to grab my sticker sheet again. I'm going to grab this Grow With Love sticker. I'm just going to place it right up here. I'm going to grab this little sticker. I'm going to place it right here. Then I'm going to grab my chipboard tags and frames. I'm going to grab this one. And the spring is in the air. I happen to have these eyelets that are little flowers. So I'm just going to set them in the little holes instead of using the washi tape. This one we're going to place right towards the bottom. Then on this one, I have two more little flower eyelets. So I'm going to set those. Oops. And that's just going to go along the side over here. So that's our first page the cover of our tunnel book. From my patterns and solids, I cut another square. I forgot to sh tell you guys earlier to cut it when you cut the first one. So you're going to turn over your cover page. You're going to fold in the two sides. I'm going to add some score tape, leaving just a slight gap from where the score line is. I'm 
also going to add just a little glue. So you're going to turn your page over and this is going to go right along this edge. I just like to burnish mine down really good. So then you want to take that patterns and solids square you cut and place it right on the back side of your pages. Right over your hinge. my chipboard page three. I'm going to grab two of the patterns and solids. I'm going to trim these down to eight by eight. I'm going to take my chipboard page on the square cut the square out Glue the yellow one right on top of your chipboard page. Making sure it's even. So then you want to turn your page over. Grab your middle size hinge, the three and six hinge. Just bending my score lines. I'm going to put some double sided tape on the one that we wrote three on. Add a little glue. Line it up with the edges. Burnish down. Then you want to grab your purple piece and center it on top, right over your hinge, making sure not to get any on the score line. Now we're going to grab page four and I'm going to grab Plant Your Memories and this page of Patterns and Solids. I'm going to trim it down to eight by eight. So I have both pieces here. You want to line them up on top of your chipboard. Trace your square. Cut that out. Take your Plant Your Memories page 
and glue it right on top of your chipboard page. Then you want to turn this over, watching your pattern. Grab your last hinge and fold on the score lines. On the side that says four, I'm going to add some double-sided tape. Add some glue. Then you want the score line right up against this edge over here. Then I'm going to grab another piece of acetate and cut about two eighths inch strip. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And I grab these two little butterflies from the ephemera set. And I'm going to place one underneath. And I'm just going to put a little glue on the edges, on two of the edges. it right over the other butterfly and that way it'll move up and down so now grab your other piece of pattern paper you cut place it on the back side of your chipboard Next, you want to grab four sheets of your patterns and solids and cut these down to eight by eight. Then you want to grab Tiptoe Through the Tulips and Blooming Beauty. You're going to cut these down to eight by eight. So you should have six sheets. Then you want to grab page five. Line up your pattern paper. Trace your square. And page six. And these last two will be for page seven. Take page five and six and cut the square out of the center. So now we have our pattern paper ready for page five, the front and back. And I'm just going to clip those on for now. And I grab page six. The square out of this one. So 
this will be to cover page six. And I clip those and set them aside for later. So I'm gonna grab page five, the chipboard page five, and my two pieces of pattern paper. So I'm gonna take page four with the hinge that has five left on it. Add score tape to your hinge. Add some glue. Grab chipboard page five. You're gonna place the hinge along the edge lining up your top and bottom. And then you're going to grab your piece of pattern paper, place it right on top, not getting any on your score line. turn it over, grab your other sheet of pattern paper, place it on the back, so now you're going to grab page six with your two sheets of pattern paper. You're gonna grab the hinge that has six on it. Put score tape and glue. Grab chipboard page six. Line this up. Grab a piece of your pattern paper, glue it right on to the top of chipboard page six. Then glue on your other piece of pattern paper. Now grab page seven. So you're gonna grab your cover page. Put score tape and glue on your hinge flap. And glue it down to chipboard page seven. glue on your pattern papers. So take your cover page and you want to open it. And it has your widest hinge on it. Then you want to take your middle sized hinge and you want to put score tape on the center and add glue you want to be generous Then you're going to evenly place these on your spine. So if you kind 
turn your book up and make sure they're evenly spaced. You want to burnish down. Then you want to take your last page. You want to put a nice glob of glue on the space between the hinges. Making sure all of your patterns are pointing the right way. You want to place that right in the center. Burnish that down. Okay, so now you're going to open up to the inside cover. So from Bright Beautiful Day, I cut out the tulip stamp. So then you want to grab these pieces of chipboard. I added two butterfly eyelets and a flower one. Then from your scraps, you want to cut a piece of paper to two and one fourth by seven inches and score it three and a half. going to grab this piece of chipboard, add glue to the back, and I glue it down right over your scrap piece of paper. Centering it. You're just going to put some glue around this side and the bottom. You're going to glue it on right over here. Then you're going to grab your tulip stamp. You're going to put glue along this side and the bottom. And that's going to go right over on this side. Grab your other piece of chipboard, put glue on the back, then you want to grab your sticker sheet and grab this Keep Blooming, you want to line the tails up. Grab this tulip sticker. And it's going to go right over this one. So now we're ready to start on this page. So you're going to need to grab a Graphic 45 Artist Trading tag. Then I cut this using one of Graphic 45's dies. 
And this is gonna go right on top of my tag. So then you're gonna cut this from Garden Club pattern paper. And you're gonna score in them from this side at one and a half. You wanna apply glue. You want to glue it on just past the curves. Set that aside and let it dry. You're going to take the rest of that long strip and it's going to go right at the top of your book. burnish down so then you're going to grab your sticker sheet and grab this purple butterfly and it's going to go right over here in the corner then you're also going to grab the birdhouse sticker going to go right over here then I cut this from the bright beautiful day pattern paper we're gonna put a little bit of foam tape on the back and that's gonna go right over your little flower pot So then your tag is going to go all the way flush with the bottom, but you're only going to put glue on this little strip of paper. So you just want to line it up. Burnish it down. And I'm gonna grab my sticker sheet and I'm going to use the third one down. I'm going to grab my sticker sheet again. And I'm going to grab this little sticker here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of foam tape on the back. And it's just gonna go right over my flowers so now we're ready for the next page I cut this from scrap paper the tiptoe through the tulips paper it's two and five eighths by seven scored in half of three and a half so then you're gonna want to find this piece of chipboard which I did add a butterfly eyelet you want to put glue on the back Then when you glue it on top of your scrap piece of pattern paper, you want to make sure the images inside are the right direction. So after you've glued the chipboard on top of your scrap of paper, you're going to want to put glue on this side and along the bottom. And this is going to go over here in this corner. So then I cut this strip from the paper collection. And it's going to go right on top. You're going to grab your sticker sheet and grab the middle long strip here. it right under your green one trim 
that off. So then you're gonna grab these two pieces of chipboard. This one's gonna go over here to kind of cover the backing of the sticker. So you just wanna put glue on two of the sides. Put glue on the back of this one. It's gonna go about right here. Then you wanna grab your sticker sheet. You can grab this sticker here. Okay, we're gonna start on this page. So I cut this from the paper collection. This is a piece of the ephemera. Whoops. Then this is a chipboard frame. I just added a little butterfly eyelet. So to start with, you're just gonna put glue on the bottom. I'm gonna glue this towards the bottom. Then from my scraps, I cut a piece of paper two and a fourth by two and three fourths. And it's just gonna slide in my pocket as soon as it's dry. This is just a piece of, from the chipboard. I'm going to put glue on the back and glue it right to the top of this. Then I'm going to take that leftover strip, sticker strip from this page. I'm going to trim it right before the next tulip word starts. I'm going to put it right at the bottom of my chipboard frame. Then I'm just going to cut out where it says tulips. I'm going to center it right on the top of my frame. So I'm going to grab this piece of ephemera. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm just going to slide it under the corner of my frame, gluing it down to my pattern paper. Then I'm going to grab these little pink boots. I'm going to place them about right here. I cut this strip. Love grows here from the paper collection. And it's just gonna go right along my top. Then I have this chipboard piece, which I'm gonna glue down here. This one at the top. And this one in between. And I'm going to grab the sticker, The Garden is My Happy Place. And I'm going to put some foam tape on. I'm going to center it at the top of my book. I cut this from tiptoe through the tulips. I'm just going to center that right here. So next you wanna grab another artist trading card. You're gonna grab some of your washi tape. And I'm just gonna put some right along the bottom. Good. 
do three strips. Just trim off if you went over anywhere. Then you're going to grab this image from the paper collection, put glue on the back, glue it down right over your washi tape and towards the top. And then this is a piece of chipboard. I added another eyelet. on top of your washi tape. So then grab some scrap and cut it to five and a half by two and a half. You want to fold it in half. Turn your tag over. You're only going to put glue on this side. I usually fold mine back shut. You want to glue that on to the back of your tag. So grab your tag, put glue on your flap. You're going to glue it down in this corner. Keep them flush with the bottom. I grabbed this from the ephemera collection and it's going to go right here. Grab this little blue sticker, the butterfly. Grab this sticker down here with love. This is from the ephemera collection. Just going to put a little glue on the bottom. It's going to go right here. Place your sticker right over it. I'm going to use this border that I trimmed down to eight inches. Then grab a piece of chipboard. I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of this. The garden is my happy place. I cut this word strip from the paper collection. And I'm going to place it about right here. This is a, from the ephemera collection. Place it around my inner square. So this piece is from the chipboard collection. I'm going to stick it down about right here. So then you're going to grab this chipboard frame and a piece of your scrap paper. Cut down to five and a half by two and three fourths. And I scored it three and one fourth. So 
So I added double-sided tape. I'm going to take my piece of acetate and I'm going to stick it to one side. And then I poked it through, like through my frame. I'm going to trim it off. Then I'm going to bend it around my frame, sticking it to the other side of the double tape. So it's like that. Grab a scrap piece of pattern paper. And what you want to do is just bend it around the acetate. And then fold it back over and trim it. So it looks like that. So put a little glue on one of the sides. Put your Put it over your, the middle section, over your acetate, and fold it up so it glues shut. This will make it just slide back and forth. So this is from the ephemera collection some glue on your little piece of paper and glue your image right on top so that way your your little image will slide so next I'm going to just trim off where it loops out Then I'm going to add glue to the back. Grab your piece of scrap paper and center it on the largest section. Burnish it down. Then grab your sticker sheet. along the top and I'm just going to trim off where it shows Now you're going to put glue on this shorter flap. You're going to glue it down right in this bottom corner. To grab this from the ephemera assortment, spring is in the air. I added some foam tape and that's going to go right here. This butterfly is from the ephemera collection. I'm just going to bend the wings a little bit, add glue to the center and it's just going to go right here.
So now we're going to flip to the next page. So then you're going to grab this image from the paper collection. And it's going to go all the way over here in the corner. And this is from the chipboard collection. I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom. And I'm going to glue it down right over here. Then I cut this strip. I'm going to add this border right to the top. This is from the ephemera collection. I did add some foam tape to almost all of it. The chipboard frame will hold up the other side. So I'm just going to add a little glue. Add that to my page. This is also from the chipboard collection. So then grab a piece of your scrap. This is two and a fourth by four and a fourth. And slide it right behind your chipboard. This butterfly is from the ephemera assortment. I'm just going to put a little glue on the bottom of the wings. And I'm going to put it on top of my pattern paper so it sticks out. So it's like that. Then you want to cut this border from the collection, and I cut the bottom off. I'm going to add it right to the top of your page. Then you want to grab this piece of chipboard. You want to take your other border, feed it through like that. Then I'm going to add some glue to the ends. right down under your other strip and I cut this and I scored it in half I'm going to add glue to the pink side I'm going to place this right in the corner over here That way you have a place to put a photo or journaling. So then I have this chipboard little frame and this image from the paper collection. I'm going to place it about right here. Put a little glue on the bottom of my frame. I'm going to place that right here. Then I have this little scrap that's two and a fourth by two and three fourths. I'm going to grab the sticker sheet. I'm going to grab this little tab. I'm going to center it. Bend it over. 
burnish it down. I'm just going to round my bottom corners. And that will just slide behind my frame. And I'm going to grab this from the sticker sheet. Just place it kind of right over the other one. So I cut this border from the paper collection and I added glue. I'm just going to add that right to the top of our next page. So this is from the chipboard collection. I'm just going to place it right there. Then I have this piece of chipboard. I'm going to put some glue along this side and the bottom. It will go right there. And this is one of the journaling cards. I folded it in half. And I'm going to put glue on the birdhouse side. Go right over here. So then we cut this at the beginning of making our book, and it's just going to slide right behind this piece of chipboard. Then I have two butterflies from the ephemera assortment. I'm just going to add some glue to them one over here, put glue on the back of my smaller one, and it'll go right over here. So then this is from the chipboard collection. I'm going to add glue to the bottom. I'm going to put this right in the center. And then I have these images I cut from the paper collection. And that way I can add photos and journaling. And they will just tuck right behind this frame. So, and I'm going to grab this tulip wreath and add it right to the back of my book. So I turn back to this page and I just want to add some of my sticker butterflies. So I'm just going to add this circle sticker and the butterfly. And then I grab the larger pink one. Then I'm also going to add a little butterfly sticker right down here in the corner. So then from your Grow With Love scrap, you want to cut a one and a fourth by eight inch long strip. You want to glue that right to your spine. And then you want to grab your sticker sheet and grab this friends or flowers. You want to center that and add it onto your spine. And then you want to grab these two little flower stickers. And put them right next to it about a fourth of an inch away.
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy my Level Up project.